All right, guys, first of all, I just want to tell you something important. I still have my E39. Yep, coming on 12 years. So this video is about the fuse box location, which is in the glove compartment, uh, which is there. Uh, you twist those two clips and it drops down. So this fuse box is located in the glove compartment. Nice and easy. It's got everything you need to know which is which with this handy little pull out piece of card now the main reason I'm making this video is if you look here if you 75 76 is located somewhere else so after my extensive YouTube research I have found it number one you do not need to take the glove compartment off it is located 75 and 76 is located just under here now you see this plastic panel I was looking at it for ages like a fantastic piece of painting taking my time to try to work out where the screws are to take it out but you know what there are no screws you can all you do is put your hand and you pull it and it will come off so let's try that now <coughs> one hand is never a good idea <coughs> okay let me just uh, pull this so right, I'm just gonna pull it off there you go I cheated there use two hands but there you are so this is the plastic tray that's come off now it's simply held on by this section here and this raised bit here which hook onto this metal piece just here reaches for that and this groove here slots into this plastic piece here all right so going in and i'm going to show you we're 75 and 76 is. So as you go in, look up and it's too dark. So let's get some light on. So you come in and look up and it's towards the center side and it's Oh my god, so many wires in the way. It's just here. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna have to go to pottery mode to show you. There's the round thing. And there you go. Well, that's a good shot there. I've got to try and make it to landscape so you can see it better. There's 75, 76. Don't ask me which one's which. It was hard to get in here. Uh, you simply just pull them up with your fingers. Uh, I have done that, I've checked them, just to let you know that these are big fuses, so be careful. Uh, let's try and take the red one out and show you. Pausing. Okay, I have detached the orange fuse, as you can see. Quite a big fuse compared to the others. So I hope that helps. Um, by the way, these are for the... Actually, I'll tell you, these two fuses are for 75, 76 on here. 75 is auxiliary fan and 76, I can't see, ah, there we go, for the heater blower. Okay, hope that helps. Gonna put it all back together. And uh, see you soon on the next one. Alright guys, so if you saw my last um, video, which is about taking the fuses out, um, basically, um, the reason I did that was because my AC wasn't working. I went to fill it up thinking it's just probably run out, but the guy, he put his um, bits together on the uh, AC refilling tube, whatever it is, and he said it's not coming on. Now, I was putting the pressing the button and it wasn't coming on either so I just thought it ran out but he said look 
it's not going to be work if we fill it because the compressor whatever it is not even starting so I thought okay well I'll just leave it see what happens so I took it away and I just thought you know I take the fuses out and put them back and see if that makes a difference the weird thing is it does it has made a difference so if you look at your glove if you look at your glove compartment <coughs> take out the uh, I'll tell you exactly why I did actually because this is unbelievable I mean it actually worked so the fuses that I removed are the air conditioner one 9 and 20 okay I removed those two and then I removed the fuse numbers 75 and 76 so if you saw my previous video you'd know where they're located because it's not easy to get to took the uh, fuses out put them back in and I must have reset something because I have cold air how crazy is that I didn't need to change this panel so taking the fuse out I reset something and it's fine sweet by the way do you like my stereo it's quite cool